Here is uh, more of uh, the right trying to defend Donald Trump. I mean, these guys just must do this just to kiss Trump's ass because they all think they're going to get hired by Trump on some level, right? I mean, if you're on uh, Fox or Fox Business, you, this is basically like the um, this is basically like the um, uh, you know the, the this is the the, the job hiring pool. It's the, admi- it's the it's the administration the bullpen. store. It's, it's the bullpen. Where you go to buy new guys, right? Exactly. And so they're all auditioning, and it doesn't matter. It does. It doesn't seem to matter what they say. Here they are trying to argue that um, Puerto Rico releasing new numbers um, on the death toll in August was uh, some type of well conspiracy. Let's turn to another matter of, I think, considerable ignorance. I'll pause and that it. I should say this is Lou Dobbs. Um, the he's like uh, Benjamin Bratt, right? What is that? The, the, what is the name of that uh, movie where the guy gets younger as he goes? Uh, Lou Dobbs, just looking. Benjamin Button. Benjamin Button. I mean, it's just it's impressive. And here he is with uh, Ed Rollins. Uh, go ahead. Matter of, I think, considerable ignorance, and that is a number of uh, uh, institutions, including academic institutions whether at George Washington University or Harvard, the uh, Chan School of Public Policy, coming up with these ridiculous uh, projections uh, of a death count, uh, a body count from, uh, from Hurricane uh, Maria. This is just astonishing. And, and for two candidates, uh, Rick Scott running for the Senate against Bill Nelson, Ron DeSantis running for the uh, uh, governorship, to sit there and say they just... It, to side against the the reality uh, and against the president is to me just beyond the well, pale. Well, they, they had better understand the president's the only DeSantis would not be on the ticket if it wasn't for the president's endorsement. Uh, obviously, Scott was the governor. The reality is there are, the, the Democrats are playing to Puerto Ricans who moved to this country, moved to Florida politics, and they're not for us anyway. So at the end of the day here, the president is accurate. Uh, this group that's doing this estimate would de- say you and I weigh somewhere between 100 and 300 pounds, uh, plus or minus. Uh, it's just Pause ridiculous. It. We should say the group that's doing this is the Puerto Rican government. We should also say that uh, Puerto Ricans, uh, if they move from Puerto Rico to uh, Florida, have not moved to this country. They are in this country. Puerto Rico is a territory of the United States. Um, and they fled because they had a major catastrophe, which the administration did nothing to help them with. I mean, this is just, wow. Yeah, they're they're just subhuman. Subhuman. Yeah. Like, Lou Dobbs, like, they, you can tell, like, first of all, he must know that the Puerto Rican government put out these numbers. That the Harvard numbers are 25% larger than the Puerto Rican uh, government numbers. Puerto Rico, I think, said uh, 2,975 people died. And uh, Harvard said something like 4,100 people died. They must know this. They can't not know this. And the idea that, I mean, and they're saying this out loud, right? I mean, go back on what Rollins is saying here. The idea that these candidates running in Florida would would restate these uh, figures, <laughs> these factual numbers, um, even though the president supported them, is, I mean, the, it, it's crazy. Play it. And against the president is, to me, just beyond the well, pale. Well, they, they had better understand the president's the only, DeSantis would not be on the ticket if it wasn't for the president's endorsement. Uh, obviously, Scott was the governor. The reality is there are, the, the Democrats are playing to Puerto Ricans who moved to this country, moved to Florida, politics and they're not for us anyway so at the end of the day here the president is accurate uh, this group that's doing this estimate would de- say you and i weigh somewhere between 100 and 300 pounds uh, plus or minus uh, it's just ridiculous the the kind of statistical analysis the they statistics do. of what I, I do statistics all the time this is this is the most absurd thing i've ever seen and and the national left-wing media blindly took these numbers jump just as soon as the puerto rican uh, governor decided to use them for whatever his uh, political purposes, but they have no foundation in fact, and there is no fact-based count here uh, that is worthy of even discussion. No, but uh, but again, uh, they, they're going to use it. They're going to use it in Florida. They're going to use it in that community. Uh, the uh, many many new Puerto Ricans who've moved to Florida. 
uh, to rev them up uh, and make them vote. Uh, or, or well, that's ignorance beyond belief, I, belief I, I again, agree. because here is a president who devoted more resources into Puerto Rico than, as far as I know, uh, any any president has uh, he, provided he before. He literally has rebuilt the island. He's rebuilt the electrical system. The, oh, the, the my problems God. Were All not right, let's see if we can stop here. Uh, Mark Harris on Twitter, I don't know this guy, but he wrote, uh, Ed Rollins ran the Reagan-Bush campaign in 1984. For all those Republican commentators who say, I don't recognize today's GOP, you should. It's been around for 40 years. Indeed.